Well, I've been looking at coming to Costa Rica for, for years now. Um, I've been surfing my whole life. I windsurf, I kite surf, I stand up, I tow, and we found that stand up is a really good vehicle for, for really taking advantage of long waves and kind of came up with this project with Red Bull together to try and find you know, like the longest waves in the world. So this is kind of the first part of this ongoing mission to hopefully go and, and surf some of the best, longest waves. It's kind of cool with technology now, the way the GPS's work with accelerometers. You can have a handheld or a wrist held GPS and actually measure the length of the ride from the takeoff to the, to the kick out and be accurate about it. Almost five hours in the rain, really raining hard. Uh, pretty cool trip, amazing countryside. And then we got down here to Pavones last night. Still raining hard, not a lot of surf, so we just kind of got set up, got a place to stay. Stoked to get a first impression. To me, I'm a board rider, you know, and it doesn't matter what I'm riding, I take advantage of what conditions is offered. I try to make the best of it, but clearly surfing is the heart of all these sports. So we're just finishing up another day at Pavonis and honestly it was awesome. Kind of scoped the breakout, it changes a lot with the tide, you know, lots of waves go through and it's starting to connect on the sets. Um, definitely looking forward to tomorrow though, to the solid swell and really seeing uh, what it's all about when it's really lined up. But today was fun. So I uh, just got my first wave of the morning. Uh, early was kind of onshore and bumpy, so we waited a while. But it's, uh, it's like six foot on the biggest sets, connecting all the way through from the main peak to the inside. That one was uh, 1.09 kilometers, so two minutes. Pretty, pretty long leg burner ride, but can't wait to get some more. Well, today was unreal. You know, we woke up in the morning, the, the swell was finally there, solid, a lot of energy behind it. Well, for me, this was for sure the longest wave I've ever ridden. I've ridden some really long waves, especially like windsurfing and kiting. You can connect sections that, you know, you couldn't connect on, on any other form of, of board riding. But uh, in terms of just catching one wave beginning to end, this was for sure the longest I've, I've ever had and a good start to the project of you know traveling around the world trying to find the longest ones so fun i'm so dead after you know all that paddling and, and uh, yeah you don't catch that many waves in a day but you're more tired than a whole day of normal surfing because the rides are so long Pretty much wraps it up. I'm heading home tomorrow. 
Costa Rica was awesome. We got uh, a killer swell. Pavonas provided over one kilometer long waves. Here at Boca Barranca wasn't perfect, but it was still 800 meters. East spot, over two minute rides, leg burners. Unbelievable workout surfing here. I uh, can't wait to come back.